All right, what is up, guys? We are back with the Nanatsu no Taizai, chapter 283. Um, <clears throat> so last time we had Mael uh, being defeated. Um, so I'm really interested to see where we're going to go from here. I mean, I think the most logical thing, because we know, you know, Meliodas is still, like, looming over us, right? Like, that whole, you know, issue of him. Um, so obviously that's what we're going to, that's essentially like the final battle, I would, I would assume. So I would think now we're probably going to have to go back to Purgatory to deal with, uh, Bon, Meliodas, and the Demon King. Um, so how are they going to get out of this? Because, you know, the Demon King is not going to let them leave. Um, but at the same time, there is no way in hell that those two can defeat the Demon King, right? There's no way. Um, or at least I wouldn't think so. I, I don't think it could be possible, but, um, who knows, man. Um, all right, so let's get started. All right. So, yeah, already, yeah, we're jumping right into this battle. It looks like the Demon King just, like, uh, absolutely obliterated, like, the entire landscape, I think. Like, just by, like, all the rocks flying around. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you just see him, like, looming over. How many defeats now does that make? It's been pissing me off, so I haven't been counting. Okay, so they've been they've been going through this like over and over again. Okay. Um roughly out of 6093 fights, we've lost 6093 times. Wow. Um you were counting? 60 years have passed since we first challenged the Demon King together. 60 goddamn years, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, all right, and yet we haven't been e been able to step, uh, f step a foot near his feet even once. Well, even if it has been 60 years, that's only one hour back in the real world, right? So don't sweat it. <clears throat> uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go back to the real world. Uh, what are you saying after all this time? That wasn't like you at all, Sir Meliodas. I'm determined to not give up until I see my little brother again. Uh, don't misunderstand me, of course. I want you all to get back there, but I'm a different story. Elizabeth has been stricken with a curse to inevitably die before my eyes. That's why I think she'd be better off if I didn't return. That's actually kind of interesting. Dumbass. That's a really interesting viewpoint um, from coming from Meliodas. Um, the princess's curse has already been activated. Besides, do you really think that little princess over there would accept that? As soon as you start backing down, it's all over. We will get out of here, and we will save the women we love no matter what. Uh, Captain, you'll free the princess from her curse, and I'll bring Elaine back to life. Uh, let's just keep it simple. <laughs> you just slap the shit out of him, dude. Uh, nothing about it is simple. That's why I'm saying this in the first place. But you may be right. Uh, <clears throat> because right now, all of the Seven Deadly Sins and even Hawk are risking their lives fighting for Elizabeth and me. <laughs> I'm getting tired of dealing with you. It's time you learned already. Oh, man, dude. Like, just the scale of him is just incredible, dude. <clears throat> it's like, almost like a, like, berserk levels of just scale. <clears throat> Uh, no matter how many times you try to steal my power, you only end up giving me power instead. No matter how many times you try to gore me, uh, you're unable to scratch even a single thin layer of my skin. And Meliodas just got, like, obliterated, it looks like. <clears throat> Captain. Yeah, he's just getting, like, like, sent, like, back and forth, it looks like. Oh, he's gonna try revenge counter, but I would think out of... He's fought the king 6,000 times. I would think he's used revenge counter at least once, right? Let's see what it does this time. Um, give up already. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at Melios's face, man. Jeez. Um, your technique was merely an imitation you learned from Chandler in the first place. Without your original magic power, you cannot fight me. But that would be impossible because you are afraid. I mean, I would be afraid too, honestly. Um, 
All right, so he blacked out. What happened to the Demon King? He's way the hell over the horizon. Well, to be more accurate, it's, uh, it's us that got sent flying over the horizon. Wow, those wounds. What, these? They ain't nothing. He got them from shielding you, Captain. Right? Uh, maybe I should give it a shot. <sighs> I can't believe it. My wounds have healed. Bond, did you do that? Whoa, seriously? For the last 60 years, every single time I tried to steal his power or stamina, my own ended up getting absorbed by him instead. Uh, thanks to that, my body began to learn the sensation of getting energy absorbed from it, or rather, of giving energy, so I thought I'd try it. Uh, but are you alright, Sir Bon? Of course I am. I'm immortal. Uh, with this power, I just might. But what's really terrifying is his power of the ruler. How the heck are we supposed to land even a single attack on him? So I feel like, um, like Bond's new ability, if it was like any other circumstance, I would probably have a problem with it, but since he's had 60 years to develop this new technique, I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let it slide. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm curious to see, like, how is he, po how, how can he use that to his advantage against the Demon King? Um, because he said it's the ability, like, not necessarily to heal, but, like, to, like, give energy to someone else, right? So I'm wondering if, like, if he, like, if he gave, like, you know, a certain amount of energy to the Demon King, um, like, let's say the Demon King is, is like, about to, like, do a slash or something like that with his, uh, blade, and Bond gives him more power than necessary, could that slash be, like, like overpowered, and, like, because of that, like, uh, the swing or the trajectory of the swing gets, like, messed up or something like that because there's, like, way more power put into it than what he had expect than he, like, initially expected or something like that. I'm just wondering if, like, could Bond, like, mess up the Demon King's, like, attacks by giving him, like, too much power or something like that. I don't know. Um, I saw that in an anime once, so I'm, I'm curious to see if, like, that's kind of the route that that's that's going to go, um, but at the same time, it's like, would Bond giving energy to the Demon King even like, you know, make a difference to the Demon King since he's just so like since he's just like on another league? I don't know, but um, yeah, just like a just like uh, an idea that I had once he started saying that. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, by the way, Captain, what did the Demon King mean when he said that? <laughs> As long as you didn't have your original power, you wouldn't be able to fight him. If I recall, you did say that you had learned a full counter technique from that old demon Gramps, right? So then does that mean your original power was something else entirely? Who knows? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that so? Interesting. Uh, anyways, as long as we can't figure out a plan to deal with his the ruler, I won't be able to see wild or see mild. Uh, don't any of you have any good ideas? Uh, but Snatch isn't even able to weaken him, and rather actually strengthen strengthens him instead. And Full Counter is able to reflect any magical attack, but instead it ends up getting absorbed. Yeah, nothing normal works on him. It's almost like he's ruling over and controlling logic itself. Hey, you two, I think I got an idea. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so Bond is stepping up first, let's see. I'm so sick of you, I can't even sigh anymore. So you've come all this way just to get your power stolen by me again. Ha, huh, well, if you're looking to steal it, then let's just start right off with it. <laughs> what happened to Demon King? <clears throat> uh, Demon King, the true identity of your absurd ability, the ruler. is inversion all manner of attacks or weakening that target you are turned into healing and strength well done well done indeed perhaps now you'll be able to alleviate a little bit of this boredom the real fight starts now you don't need to tell me okay so inversion so all attacks uh, or weakening that target you are turned into healing and strength so so basically just, yeah, any attack that's thrown at him 
it's just like reverted into like energy for him it like heals him right we knew that but i'm curious like how how does that give like now knowing this how does that give them a leg up how does that give them an advantage um yeah i'm like really confused because like you know bond i'm i'm guessing what he did was that he gave like what i was trying to say earlier was that he gave like he just started right off the bat and just gave the demon king like some power or like healed him i'm, I'm guessing um but yeah i'm a little confused as to how this is possibly going to help them like knowing this um obviously it'll be explained next chapter but um yeah, I don't know. I'm really, really curious to see how this is going to go. Um, but it's still at the same time, like, he's the Demon King, man. Like, I'm, I, I don't know how they're going to be able to, like, you know, like, take him down. I don't know. Because um, even though, like, it, like now, yeah, they do know, like, you know, what his ability entails and what it actually does. But, like, I, I would still imagine that the Demon King is still, like, so far above those two that he could probably take them out with just, like, a flick of a finger or, or something like that. Like, just without breaking a sweat, right? So, I, I still feel like... Th I, I just don't know if this really gives them an advantage or not, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I would be really disappointed and, and shocked if the Demon King gets, like, defeated, like you know, next chapter or something like that. That would be really weird. I don't think that's going to happen, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the chapter. Um, also, one one last thing I wanted to mention, uh, like, Demon King saying that, like, you know, to Meliodas that you won't, you won't be able to fight me without, like, that, without your original power or whatever. Um, so insinuating that uh, you know, obviously, you know, full counter and revenge counter, like, we know he learned that from Chandler, but this chapter kind of hints that Meliodas had, like, an ability before that, which I think is really, really interesting. Um, let me see where Bond, because Bond talks about it a little bit. Um, where is it? Alright, so, he says... So then does that mean your original power was something else entirely? And of course, Mel Meliodas plays coy. He's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, I mean, it's just dropping like hints, right? That Meliodas had an ability before learning uh, full counter and revenge counter and, you know, the magic that we know him to have today. So, um, and, and that apparently, or supposedly, that this ability... Um, like allowed allowed him to actually fight against the demon king um so yeah i don't know man whatever it is it has to be pretty crazy uh because even the demon king you know was saying that you know that ability allowed you to fight against me so and without it you know we see you know how easily the demon king is able to put down meliodas without this ability so um makes me wonder like what the hell is it uh, why can't he use it? Like, does having full counter and revenge counter and, you know, the abilities that he's learned from Chandler, like, prevent him from using the abilities he had, uh, you know, you know, originally? Uh, why can't he use those, those abilities now? Like, can, why can't he use both of them at the same time? Like, there has to be some reason for that, um, I would imagine, so, I don't know, man, it, it, it brings up a lot of questions, but I like how they just kind of, like, or uh, Nakaba Sensei just kind of like teased that a little bit. He just like dropped it in there, like a little hint. Uh, so I thought that was really, really cool, really interesting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the chapter. Sorry this this reaction was a little bit late. Um, school, man, it's it's that time of year, so it's it's annoying. So I feel like a lot of my videos are coming out like a little bit late. But bear with me, it's annoying, I know. But um, yeah, school school is important, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the video guys. Thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe for more Taizai and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace